it was like a love affair. Facebook ads and Shopify. Start a Shopify store, just run some Facebook ads. It was simple. And then what happened? Before, you could just simply install your Facebook pixel by just simply adding in the code into the Shopify store theme, or even simpler, just the Facebook pixel ID number into the little box in Shopify. And for some reason, it's all gone. So if you're watching this video, I have a timestamp down below to show you exactly how to do this. So if you just want to fast forward and jump to that, I completely understand, it's cool. Now, for those of you who want to watch a little bit, there actually is a couple of hidden benefits to the new integration between Shopify and Facebook for adding in the Facebook Pixel. I know it seems really annoying, but just bear with me on this. So let's just break these down. Number one. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably know about the fact that right now, Apple and Facebook are having a pretty petty feud uh, when it comes to tracking people going off of Facebook and onto Apple devices. A huge benefit of this new Shopify and Facebook integration is the fact that you now have server-side attribution. In the past, when it comes to uh, Facebook tracking uh, sales or leads on your website, it was all cookie and browser based. However, what that means is say if a person you know, goes to a different browser, a different computer, a phone, you do lose that attribution. Server-side integration means that Shopify will look at the person's email address and their Facebook ID, to my understanding, it's a little bit complicated, and pretty much tell your Facebook ad account directly this person came from Facebook ads. It was this Facebook ad. This is their Facebook ID and email address. They have a conversion. What that allows you to do is get much better attribution for your Facebook ad campaigns. That alone right there already has me sold. A couple of other small benefits is if this is your first Shopify store and you actually haven't set up a business manager, an ad account, a pixel, heck, even a catalog, this whole integration actually walks you through it and allows you to set up a catalog feed, a pixel, an ad account. So if you're just starting on Shopify and you do not have anything on Facebook, this actually is a huge benefit. I'll probably make a video about how to uh, set all that stuff up as you go along. I was actually surprised. I know one thing I've always struggled with is having the product feed from Shopify link up to a catalog and Facebook and having the products update. This actually really helps set all that up under this thing called Commerce Manager. If you haven't noticed on Instagram and a little bit on Facebook, but really on Instagram, they have the little buttons down at the bottom now about like, oh, purchases and stuff. This new integration between Facebook and Shopify actually makes this really, really simple. So kind of kudos to them. Now, of course, before we jump into my computer over there and I show you how to set all this stuff up, there's a couple things you do need to have either access to or be the owner of. One huge thing that is gonna be a big stumbling block, and I'm sure you're gonna be yelling at me right now about this, is the fact that you need to be admin of your, the Facebook page, the business manager, the ad account, the pixel, and they all need to be owned by one business manager. We ran into a huge problem with Strength of Seduction where I was the admin of the business manager, the ad account, the ad account was owned by that business manager. We had the Facebook pixel with that business manager, but the Facebook page was in a different business manager that I was not admin. So we tried to make me admin of that business manager and it didn't work. We had to transfer ownership of the Facebook page to the business manager where the ad account, the pixel are at. It took seven days to process because it's a security reason but let me tell you this, it's really, really annoying. So with that being said, don't be surprised if you might have to get on the phone or even you know, do a Zoom call with your client uh, walking you through this process. Because it might be that they own business manager, Facebook page, ad account, pixel, so on and so forth. It could be that you actually have to walk them through it because you might not have the right permissions or it just plain won't let you do it. Regardless, I've made this video so if you need to send this to your client, you can just go ahead and do so. If you wanna review this and walk, it, and walk together with your client and set this all up, that's great too. Now that you know that we need to ha definitely have access to the business manager, Facebook page, ad account, Pixel, your dog spot, your last year's taxes and it, God knows what else. Let's go ahead and jump to my computer and I'll show you how to finally do this. All right guys, so I'm gonna be showing you this stall install on a fresh Shopify store. So it could be you're working on a store similar to this where it's brand new, or you could be working onto a store that's currently bubbling. Regardless, what you have to do is we need to first get this Facebook sales channel. So you wanna make sure that you go to the Shopify store and this is the one you're going for, Facebook channel by Shopify. Make sure it's installed and make sure you have this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that channel. 
Now, what you'll probably notice right from the get-go is that there's three options. A couple years ago, there used to be the Facebook shop channel, the Instagram shop channel, so on and so forth. As you can tell, Facebook is trying to put it all under one roof. So all that's now under Facebook. And what we're gonna focus on for this video is setting up um, right down here, the face, what they call the Facebook marketing channel. What I'll do is I'll make another video going over the setting of the Facebook shop and the Instagram shop because they are different. Uh, but for this right now, let's just go ahead and get our pixel back on Shopify. So we're gonna click start setup. And right from here, you have to connect your personal Facebook account. Yes, that is correct, your personal account. So click connect account. Just gonna bring this right over here. And you have to enter in your password. Now, this is where Facebook is gonna ask you about 21 questions about which Facebook page, which Facebook business manager, ad account, all that nonsense, what this uh, Shopify store will actually have access to. I always recommend, make sure you actually go through this part because if you're like me and you have a lot of Facebook pages, a lot of business managers with your uh, account under it, you wanna make sure you get it all done correctly. So of course here, you wanna make sure you can select, choose what you allow. And now, of course, you guys can't see this at home, but over here is a bunch of business managers, ad accounts, pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna only select the pages and business managers, ad accounts that actually I want this Shopify account to have access to. So bear with me, I'll fast forward through this. Okay, and as you can tell, we have step one done. Now, once that's done, it's gonna go ahead and pull in the correct business manager. You know how I just slogged through all that, like which business managers I want this Shopify store to be account connected to? Well, since I went through all that, it pulls up the correct one. Now, you guys can't see it, but this is the right one for me. So I'm gonna click connect. Now, notice here, if you do not have a business manager, you can go ahead and create a new one right from the get-go. Again, not gonna be covering this, just gonna be focusing on what needs to get going for this client. And again, make sure you have admin access for, for, for everything. That's usually the blanket term I like to say. So connect. It's gonna ask me which pages I would like. These are the pages that I would both like on here, so I'm gonna at least go with the first one. And I'm gonna scroll through here and select the correct ad account. Now, this is the important part. Now, data sharing is actually extremely important. Let me talk to you about this. This is pretty much talking about the Facebook pixel. Now, down here, I have it blocked out, but this is the pixel that we need to have connected to this store. What this allows you to do is select how much data goes from your Shopify store back to Facebook. I like to set it on maximum because it gives us the conversions API, which shares data directly from Shopify service to Facebook. There is no way that an ad blocker can mess with this. Now, one thing to keep in mind, make sure that wherever in the world you're at that this is legal to do. I know, for example, um, the European Union, you have to be a lot more savvier when it comes to collecting customer data. You know, standard right here is just the Facebook pixel um, and it's just in the browser. Pretty easy to get blocked. Enhance it is a little bit better. For example, it might grab people's names, emails, locations, and phone numbers from forms, but maximum is where you're getting the conversion APIs. And for those people out there who are worried about uh, Apple's iOS 14 blocking the pixel, this is the way to get around it. And of course, we want to make sure that we do have the correct pixel right here. I do for this example, so I'm going to be scooting on forward. Last, we just need to make sure we select our target country. This uh, store is going to be located in the United States, so I am selecting that. And then finish setup. Now, as you can tell here, this is all ready to go. This is all done. One thing you can notice is you can actually create a Facebook ad campaign right from here. I personally wouldn't recommend that because I'm an old stick in the mud. I prefer going to the business manager, doing an ad, going to my ad account and setting up the uh, campaign right from there. But hey, if you want to, you can go for it. I'll do a couple more videos about the Facebook shop and the Instagram shop because these are different. This is more about setting up a product catalog. I know a couple years ago I made I made a YouTube video on how to set up a Facebook a what's called a Shopify product feed. This actually replaces this now. The old video is still relevant, but this is the new way to do it. However, we're talking about the pixel, so let's go up here and let's show you how you can check your work. You go to settings, and then from this page, you can see that there is 
I'm not sure if you guys can see this, I have to block this stuff out of course. My account, the correct business manager, and the correct Facebook page. It is really annoying that you can only connect one Facebook page at a time. However, if you're running ads, you can still do multiple Facebook pages. So if you have two pages you want to send to one store, that's fine. It just needs a Facebook business page to connect to. Now if you want to make sure you still have the right Facebook pixel, you go down to sharing settings. As you can tell, here in sharing settings, I can see which uh, Facebook pixel is connected. And I can also retroactively choose what level of data sharing I would like. So say for example, you need to actually back down to standard, which would really suck. Uh, you can do so, and if you actually click standard because you weren't sure, but you realize you want to go back to maximum, you can do that too. And that's all it takes. See? If you have all the right admin access, or if this is brand new, it's actually pretty simple and it's very quick. It wasn't that hard, was it? Now, if you're still trying to grow your online business, your Shopify store, check out these videos that I have right here. I really hope that they show up in the right areas because frankly, it's 2020, 2021. It's probably later than that if you're watching this video and we have to somehow survive online. And of course, click my stomach. Yeah, awkward. I say it way too many times to be comfortable, but click my stomach to make sure you subscribe so you can see all these other little tidbits and advice that I give to grow your online store.